Hi, I'm Tyler Farrell with the Mike McGetcher Golf Academy, and in this week's tip, I'm going to show you what you can learn from your golf clubs. So a lot of uh, golfers have questions about ball flight, and other golfers have questions about getting out of trouble. Um, I'm going to show you how your golf club design can actually help with both. First, for setup, a lot of golfers have questions about where should I position the ball? Well, the manufacturers of your golf clubs actually help you figure that out. If I take a golf, uh, golf ball and I put it on the ground just like it would be in the fairway, um, if I sole the iron, what we'll see is there's a natural kind of angle as far as where the golf club sits. So here I have my five iron. If I sole that club, you can see that the grip is a certain distance in front of the golf ball. If I put that roughly even with my uh, inner thigh, it kind of gives me a rough idea of where the ball position will be. Now, if I take my lob wedge and I do the same thing, if I sole it, you can see that it sits with the grip much further ahead. So if I put that in front of my thigh, now we're going to see that there are two very different positions for these golf clubs to be naturally sold. That's part of the reason why we'll see this trend of the ball position moving more towards the middle of your stance with a shorter club and more towards the front of your stance with a longer club. Now for better players, when you're trying to get out of trouble, sometimes you're gonna have a hard time imagining the trajectory. So when you're getting out of trouble and you've gotta hit a shot and it either has to stay below a, a tree limb or it's gotta get above a bush, um, sometimes you have a hard time imagining what the, which club to use. Well, one of the other ways that you can kind of learn from the golf club, assuming it's kind of got a classic design, if it has more of a rounded cavity back or if it's a hybrid, fortunately this isn't going to help you. Uh, but with these golf clubs, when they're more of kind of a, a traditional cavity back or blade style, if I put it on the ground and I step on it, uh, just from some simple geometry, that's roughly going to give me the highest possible launch if I had the shaft pretty much vertical. So this is the maximum it's going to launch vertically. I'm probably going to launch it a little bit underneath it. So if I have a bush in front of me, and if I have my uh, seven iron, like I have right here, and this isn't covering the bush, like if I was to imagine that that continued, if that's not getting over the bush, then I should probably not hit my seven iron or else I'm going to have to really add loft in order to clear that bush. So there's a couple different things you can learn from your clubs. The, your golf swing leaves clues and so does the golf course. If you have a hard time figuring out how to read these clues and you're not quite sure what you can work on or what you need to work on, then stop by the Mike McGetrick Golf Academy and schedule your lesson today.